been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scold. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Yarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Hadfar, All right, then. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, well, child. Don't pester your cousin. You two make yourselves at home. the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. The finest weapons and armor. Whatever you need. Buy a smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Stay sharp. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. 
Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone's seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. But you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right, the leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom, but the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the General changed his mind. You know the rest. Be careful on the way to Solitude. Damn Stormcloaks could be anywhere.
Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Brigands, I can handle. At this top, I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Staying safe, I hope. Quite run and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Tired, friend. The bannered mayor has beds for rent. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. I just think What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Who's this then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, 
I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. <clears throat> Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Ah, indeed? The Jarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Before it's too late, 